Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. And we can use the cards to get a sense of the energies and messages for the month so that you can uh, use this information to help guide you. So let's see what the cards would like us to know for you, Sagittarius, in June. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. So the Ace of Wands, and this is a lovely illustration. You see the dragon intertwined with the wand. Aces are gifts or blessings that the universe sends to you. It's sending you a message. It's saying, take this wand and make things happen. Go for it, create. Take your ideas and your desires, your hopes, your dreams, all the things that get you excited about doing and go do them. So this is a card for you to take action and to exercise your own personal power in what you like doing. So think about that, but don't think about it forever. Make a move. So send in a, um, you know, the check for the course or something, or write the email that's going to get you included on the list for other fun activities. It's a matter of taking this opportunity and creating, and whether you're creating an uh, another way to make income or another way to, uh, you know, have fun within your life of perhaps skiing or swimming or whatever. Okay, Romeo, don't do it, Romeo. Okay, just warning. I'm not, you know, the, the cat is coming closer. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Okay, sorry. So the Ace of Wands is awesome. Go out and make things happen for yourself. Take the step, make the call, exercise your personal power. Then we have the Knight of Cups. And in this illustration, it's a lovely illustration, beautiful horse, handsome figure on the, on the horse as well. And the, um, uh, the message here, it's about, it's about love. It's about emotional, uh, emotional, what am I trying to say here? It's about your emotions and it's about having these emotional experiences. And so this knight here, he's writing and this could suggest that you're going to meet someone who is sensitive, who's kind, who's dreamy, who's thoughtful and tender. And uh, you might be on a date. You may be in a meeting with someone like this, but there's this energy here that is uh, very warm and loving and uh, I would say that the operative word for me is, is sensitive when I think of the Knight of Cups. I think of sensitivity. I think of someone who listens and is considerate. Someone who is seeking these emotional experiences, these opportunities to meet, to have fun and to enjoy. So, you know, as I look at this, as he's looking in the direction of the Ace of Wands, if, if you've been hoping to create some romantic magic within your life, if you've been hoping to meet people, then put yourself out there. And Monday or, you know, whatever the time frame is, that if you send these signals out to the universe, it may come back to you to send some sensitive soul on a horse uh, who can be a uh, wonderful company, a wonderful date, or end up being a great friend. 
and someone that is uh, easy for you to connect with. And as you're doing this, here's the high priestess who's going to wrap it all up for us, which is, I love the high priestess. I love the message of the high priestess, which is to take time for yourself to dig deep, to uh, reflect on the uh, feelings that you have, your, your gut hunches. And, and she's telling you to trust that information because you know yourself best. And the High Priestess is about connecting with your subconscious. It's about connecting with your inner guides, your intuitive side, your psychic side. Everybody has this ability to tune in and to receive messages. We may be too busy in life to take them in. We may uh, not be conscious of them, but the High Priestess is saying, you know, take a moment for some stillness. And if you have an altar in your house, just a little, little private place for you to sit and just to collect your, your you know, your deep thoughts of, of what's below. Are you thinking of things that you want to do that maybe you have held to yourself? Uh, perhaps it's creating a relationship, perhaps it's creating a new business or enterprise. Maybe you haven't shared them, you've kept them private. This is a sense of secrecy with the High Priestess, not always in a nefarious way, but in a way that sometimes we just keep things to ourselves and when we're ready to bring them out, we bring them out. So the High Priestess has, you know, typically has the Book of Knowledge and the book of knowledge is everything that makes you tick and having the understanding of you and when you understand yourself and when you listen to the messages when you see the signs when you wake up from a dream and you're like wow again what was what was i thinking how did that come into play it's often trying to tell you something and so uh trust your instinct this week and Monday. Trust your inner guide and make some time for yourself to relax, to decompress and to contemplate and to meditate and to find all of the little nooks and crannies of what's going on within your life right now. So I think it's a, a beautiful reading I'm amazed with this deck, frankly. This deck has just given some amazing energy this week. It's not a deck that I use that often, but uh, perhaps I'll, I'll start using it with some private readings um, for my friends and for myself. But I'm really, I'm just uh, quite amazed. So I'm delighted to see this. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have one, two, and another two, that's four. Four is about creating a firm foundation of building stability, of worrying or thinking about or considering um, your security, your family security perhaps. But it's really a stable and grounded base that, that fours represent. And now I'm going to choose uh, an oracle card for a little more information. Okay, so that just fell out of my hands. Let me get it. Oh. Okay, silence. And silence, again, silence of finding the silence for yourself, for your own sanity, for your own well being. We're bombarded by TV and by texts or information, electronic information or, uh, you know, busyness at work and to take time out for silence and to find the silence and let it speak to you is a powerful practice. And again, it doesn't have to be that you take a vow of silence for the entire 24 hour period, but to 
make a little time for yourself just to be quiet and to have that quietness to reflect, to use all of the, the wonderful attributes of the High Priestess. So I hope you have a great Monday. Monday is also, I'll just happen to say this because you know me, I love the Beatles. It's Paul McCartney's birthday. He's 76 years old. And talk about someone who has wielded the Ace of Wands. Always new projects, always touring, never stopping, and really using all of his own personal power and charm to create an amazing legacy of accomplishments and great music too. Have a great Monday. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, like, share, or comment. 